from the Atlas Space Flight Operations Center at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. This is Atlas Launch Control at T minus two hours and holding. The countdown for this morning's launch attempt of an Atlas V rocket is proceeding as planned. Weather is favorable with a 70% chance of acceptable conditions at launch time. The temperature is expected to be 78 degrees and visibility will be about 7 miles. Our launch window extends for 20 minutes with liftoff targeted for the opening of the window at 4.05 a.m. Eastern Time. Launching aboard a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket are the Radiation Belt Storm Probes or RBSP spacecraft. The identical twin spacecraft, equipped with a suite of five science instruments, will travel in and out of Earth's Van Allen belts to enable scientists to further understand the Sun's influence on Earth and how space weather can affect our daily lives. The mission is part of NASA's Living with a Star program, managed by Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland. The spacecraft were built by the Applied Physics Laboratory of Johns Hopkins University in Laurel, Maryland. The launch vehicle that will carry RBSP into space consists of a single Atlas V booster stage, the Centaur upper stage, and the two-piece payload fairing encasing the spacecraft on board. The Atlas V first stage is fueled by RP-1, a refined kerosene mixed with super cold liquid oxygen. The temperature of the liquid oxygen is about 297 degrees below Fahrenheit zero. The RP-1 was loaded shortly after rollout on Wednesday, August 28th at Space Launch Complex 41. The Centaur upper stage uses liquid hydrogen mixed with liquid oxygen for fuel. In a few minutes, the ULA launch conductor, Larry Krass, will perform a pre-test briefing to verify the readiness of the launch team to continue with the count. Following the briefing, you will hear ULA launch director, Lou Mangieri, conduct a poll to proceed with cryogenic loading of the Atlas first stage and the Centaur upper stage. At T minus two hours and holding, this is Atlas Launch Maddie, Control. Go. LO2. Go. Water. Go. Centaur systems. Propulsion. Go. Pneumatics. Go. LO2. Go. LH2. Go. Hazgas. Go. Electrical systems. Airborne. Go. Ground. Go. Facility. Go. RFFTS. Go. Flight control. Go. Instrumentation. Go. Com. Go. Timer. Go. GC cube. Go. Umbilicals. Go. ECS. Go. Redline monitor. Go. Quality. Go. OSM. Go. ULA safety officer. Go. Range weather and clear to proceed. Go. Launch Director. LC, you have permission to launch. Proceeding with count. T0 is planned for 08 colon 05 Zulu. Set count to start at 08 colon 01 Zulu. At T minus four Roger. minutes and holding, as we just heard, all members of the launch team recording there. T0 is set for 08 colon 05 launch. Zulu. We are count standing by to pick up the count. 01 Zulu. Release. Lift off the Atlas V rocket and twin spacecraft on a mission to unlock the mysteries of Earth's Van Allen belts. Booster engine continues to perform well. Pump speeds within parameters, injector pressures are stable.
Max Q. Booster engine continuing to operate nominally. Max Q. Vehicle continues to fly well. Dynamic rates look good. And boosters throttle back. Engine response looks good. PU continues to control anomaly. Current altitude is 11.2 nautical miles. Downrange distance 8.1 miles. Velocity is 2340 miles per hour. And we have spacecraft separation. Centaur has begun its D spin. We have confirmation of spacecraft A separation and coming up on separation of spacecraft B. And we have RBSPB spacecraft separation. Centaur has now begun the D spin. Spacecraft separation on RBSPB confirmed.